Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday, September 8th, 2024, and this is our daily bread. The title is Love is Action. It's from John chapter 21, verses 15 to 25, and the key verse is 15. It says, When they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. When they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. Again, Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He answered, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, Take care of my sheep. The third time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because Jesus asked him the third time, Do you love me? He said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, Feed my sheep. Very truly, I tell you, when you were younger, you dressed yourself and went where you wanted, but when you are old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. Jesus said this to indicate the kind of death by which Peter would glorify God. Then he said to him, Follow me. Peter turned and saw that the disciple whom Jesus loved was following them. This was the one who had leaned back against Jesus at the supper and had said, Lord, who is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he asked, Lord, what about him? Jesus answered, If I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? You must follow me. Because of this, the rumor spread among the believers that this disciple would not die. But Jesus did not say that he would not die. He only said, If I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? This is the disciple who testifies to these things and who wrote them down. We know that his testimony is true. Jesus did many other things as well. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that even the whole world would not have room for the books that would be written. Daily bread. First, love expressed through action. Jesus asked Peter three times, Do you love me? Each time Peter said yes, Jesus told him, Feed my sheep. This wasn't about confirming Peter's emotional loyalty. He was showing Peter that real love is expressed through action. Today, people use the word love Often, we say, I love that show, I love that car, I love pizza. But sometimes, we say we love Jesus without really thinking about what that means. Love for Jesus is not just in words or feelings. We need to demonstrate our love by serving Him and caring for others. How can you show your true love for Jesus? Second, restored and called for a mission. Peter had denied Jesus three times, but Jesus restored him and gave him an important responsibility to take care of God's people. This shows that our failures aren't the end of the story. Jesus restores us and entrusts us with his work. When we come to Jesus for forgiveness and change, our mistakes and failures can be turned into powerful testimonies and impactful service. If you felt like you failed or fallen short, remember that you can always turn to Jesus, accept his forgiveness, and move forward with the privilege he's given you to represent him and serve others today. Live with a renewed purpose, showing Jesus love in everything you do. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for showing me that true love is expressed in action. Help me to serve others as you have served me and to find strength and redemption in your love even when I fall short. In Jesus' name, amen. One word, serve others with Jesus' love.